Minnesota hospitals and clinics continue to find new creative ways to protect health care workers and patients. They're also trying to preserve scarce supplies of personal protective equipment. Alina Health is now taking a virtual approach to limit exposure to COVID-19. John Lordson shows us how it works. On a mostly deserted floor in an Alina Health building, you'll find a sea of stands. Tom Bathke believes each one of these will play a role in fighting COVID-19. The initial reports we get that it's very useful, it's easy to use. Tom and I are talking on tablets with social distancing in mind. We're about 50 feet from each other, much, much like an Alina health care worker and a patient. The stands and tablets are in about 100 emergency rooms right now, and eventually they could be in more than 600 rooms across the Alina Health System. They got the idea just two weeks ago when doctors and nurses were looking for ways to cut down on room visits and save masks, gloves, and gowns, all while staying close to patients. A half hour visit on a tablet could greatly reduce risk. Start doing the math, it adds up very quickly every day, and that's, that's protecting our staff, our doctors, and our patients as well. Doctors and nurses work in a kiosk. When the provider logs into a patient's room number, they can virtually talk face-to-face. -face. And we are able to deploy this very widely, so if there's a sudden surge in demand for um, more beds and more PPE, then this should help a lot in reduce the use, reducing the usage of that. Volunteers help put the tablet stands together, turning conference rooms into little factories and doing months' worth of work in less than two weeks. When you see what the, the people in the emergency departments are facing, uh, people want to help and they, they volunteer immediately. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Alina hopes to eventually put a tablet in all hospital rooms.